Welcome to the Chompcast. I'm your host. My name is Morgan Barnes from the dark heart of Montana, and I'm joined by the rest of the crew of Sword Chomp. From North Carolina, Joshua Fowler. Howdy. Uh, you stole te- uh, you stole Fish's intro because from the, from Texas we have Anthony Fisher. Howdy! No, oh, damn it! <laughs> um, and well, Shay will fix it up because we have broadcasting for the first time from Japan, the one and only Shay Layton. Howdy! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna catch my breath here. Uh, we are we are here for our usual rundown of uh, topics in the nerdscape, so to speak, mostly gaming related, ranging from this week everything from StarCraft remaster to the new It movie trailer and everything in between. Um, and then at the end of the show, we're gonna catch up with each other, you know, like friends do, and kind of see what kind of video games we've had time to devour, among other things, and all that good jazz. So it should be a lot of fun. But let's get right to it. Let's get the gauntlet on the way. You guys know the rules. If you don't, Shay, I know you didn't get to do this last time, but the idea is you have about 20 seconds or less to respond, quick hitters. And if you don't want to comment on the topic, just say pass, hard pass. Um, and again, as always, Fish, you can't pass on every topic. Deal? Uh, no promises. Okay. I can live with that. Um, but yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Right off the bat, let's get into it. There's a StarCraft remaster. A uh, huge deal. It was confirmed um, after the rumor had surfaced uh, that Blizzard announced that this summer there's going to be a remaster of the original StarCraft and the Brood War expansion. Um, the remade game will be in 4K graphics and have 1080p cinematics, upgraded audio, and new comic book style mission interludes and introductions. But most importantly, the gameplay and the balance from the original will be precisely preserved. Uh, which is pretty interesting. A lot of people have been talking about this remaster. Um, I want to go around and see how you guys feel about this. Josh, um, how are you feeling about the StarCraft remaster? Pretty good. I mean, there are a few things that I'd be fine with them changing that were just buggy to begin with. But other than that, I think just shipping it as is, but making it easier to play. And Blizzard already kind of does this fairly well as it is, uh, uh, keeping their old games still playable on new hardware. But, uh, yeah, this looks like the continued step in that direction. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Uh, Any thoughts on this one, Shay? I'm just ready to get back into the nice, smooth, murky world of StarCraft. (laughs) The, The murky world of StarCraft. Were you a StarCraft kid? Uh, no, I was a StarCraft adult. Oh, I, uh, okay. I peaked okay. late. <laughs> yeah, much like the rest of areas in my life. Late, late peaker. Where it was StarCraft 2 your first StarCraft, or did you play the original? I played the original just with some friends um, locally before I got into StarCraft 2, and then Josh and I went through our heyday of StarCraft 2 back in the beginning of 2012, I think. Hmm. The murky. How about you? How about you, Fish? You got any thoughts on this uh, whole StarCraft remaster? Um, I'm kind of indifferent to it. I've never played the original StarCraft, but um, I don't know. I don't know about remasters of you know. I know it was very beloved and well thought of and played uh quite a bit competitively up until recently. I think they mm-hmm. stopped doing those uh those uh those MLGs on them, but um, it, it's interesting. I guess they're, they're trying to bring it back and put it back on the as a, the R, RTS game out there to play competitively, and the fact that they're, they're not changing around any any balances on it or whatnot seems like they're, they're heading in the right direction. I'm just curious to see how many people would actually want to play something that's so old, you know, with upgraded graphics. So you're kind of indifferent. That's a good point, though, Fish. Like, it's got to. There's got to be some sort of ultimatum with the, um, the competitive scene. You know, trying to bring it back in a fresh light. You know, because it's still huge in what South Korea and and all those places where I I think not, I, do I have that wrong, Japan? Not not really. It's no. The MOBA has basically killed off any RTSs currently. Yeah. Because yep. it's just it, 
it stole so many pro players. Um, really? Even I thought StarCraft was the one that was still surviving in like. Korea no, I mean it's still stuff, doing but... it's still doing all right, but the prize pools for a lot of the MOBAs recently, from I mean, like Dota to League of Legends to even Heroes of the Storm, have just had just more incentive for players to uh, to play them. So they so they have. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. And I was hearing that StarCraft Two did not take off in the competitive scene as much as Blizzard had hoped. Um, but, I mean, for me, just my quick two cents on it, I'm excited because I grew up with the simpler RTSs, you know, the, the classic Warcrafts of the day back on my shitty little <laughs> computer when I was, like, you know, 12 years old. Um, just because, you know, the real-time strategy games are so complicated now and I can never really get into StarCraft Two. So I'm excited for this just because it's, it reminds me of a simpler time, the simpler RTS. And uh, for people like me, it's it's kind of it would be really appealing to go back to that. Like I really miss those classic Warcraft games, um, more one and two specifically that I played a lot as a kid. So, mm -hmm. well, they're good old days. But um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm, I'm, it was pretty big news, so I'm kind of curious to see where you guys fell on that. Um, I know Josh is gonna be excited about this one, but they had the big Destiny two reveal trailer dropped. Um, all joking aside, I'll probably throw this to Fish first because they announced the game's going to come out September 8th. Uh, the trailer was just cinematic. Um, it was sort of a back and forth between two big speeches given by two major characters. I don't know the fucking names of them. Fish probably knows. Um, but yeah, that's the big deal. It was just no gameplay, but Destiny 2 is official. It has a release date and a cinematic trailer. Um, how'd you feel about it, Fish? Um, I liked it. Uh, it. It was a little different um compared to like all their previous trailers like this one was very geared towards i guess uh nathan Fillion's character um what's his name he played he's a hunter fuck i already what's his name, his name. That's about <laughs> what's his name <laughs> what is his name no one but cares he, he he was in the game uh previously i think he they introduced or they gave him a voice essentially um, in the Taken King, um, which is an expansion that a lot of people really liked. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I'm I'm excited. They, they, the trailer just pretty much shows that your loot gets destroyed, the towers destroyed, <laughs> and the cabal all are up in up in the travelers' business, I guess. And uh, it seems like everybody's rallying up on you know. Uh, the all the guardians are rallying up, and the uh, the titans and the hunters, and of course the the warlocks are all, uh, I guess, separated. And there's two different speeches going on: the generic speech of uh, the titan, and then uh, the hunter speech, which is very comedic. And that that's what threw me off with the trailers that there's a little too much comedy in there coming from um, mm -hmm. the the hunter character. But yeah, uh, well, I. I Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Um, but yeah, no, I no, that's I, I agree with that. Kind of the throwing the original Destiny in shambles. What about you, Josh? Have you had time to check out the uh, reveal trailer for Destiny Two? I don't know. I mean, I, the uh, the two that they released before this had me the really two. hyped. <laughs> yeah, that the big the big two, <laughs> the, big, the picture of a two. I don't know. That just it did something. It spoke to me in a way that the trailer, I think. Wasn't a Maybe. Roman numeral two. Yeah, yeah, classic. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like it was. It was a two the way twos are meant to be twos. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's all about, all about that two. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gorgeous two. Let me tell you. <laughs> Woo. That's that's all they really needed to say. Did you have? I don't know if you've had a chance to see. I know you've been busy in Japan, Shay, but um, and also not being huge on the first Destiny. But did you have any thoughts on the reveal of Destiny two at all, sir? Out of the respect of the fish, I'm going to use my hard pass. <laughs> the hard pass. Well, I'll throw it back to fish one more time then, because fish does this to me. And it drives me crazy because he's always trying to give me information. I'm like, how do you feel about something, fish? And he'll give me a rundown of everything. This is what it did. I know what it did. I want to know what struck you when you saw it. You're the, you're like the most hardcore Destiny guy here. Like, what was the <laughs> gut thing you felt when you saw that trailer? Uh. Nothing really. It just it was more of just like a setup. It wasn't like a big reveal of what was going on in the world. Um, there's talks about you know they're they're up in the ante as far as like telling their story. Um, so I'm just curious to see later on 
up until release of what kind of content they're going to come out with. So, but it, I mean, that trailer just, it's, it's more of something just to kind of build the hype as is yeah. right now. Go ahead, Josh. Are you going to say something? I, upping the ante on telling story and destiny is a bit like making water a little more flavorful. Um, the vitamin water, man. <sighs> that, put that Mio in there. <laughs> Got a lot of got yeah, a whole I mean, stock of Mio. Yeah, I mean, like the only character I can remember the name of in there is the ghost, and and even even he had identity issues. So that's because they changed uh, his fucking voice actor. I'll give you this fish. <laughs> yeah, so fish is God's cocksucker. The problem I have with Destiny is very simple. I barely recognize it anymore, and for a lot of people, that's a good thing because they. If they were negative on it in the beginning, they wanted to see the change. For me, I would. It was off-putting how much humor they're trying to. Like they had that Nathan Fillion character that we can't remember the name of, and I'm not trying to be negative here because the game could be amazing. But it was just weird that the trailer. Oh, was trying his to be name's like, Cade Six. Okay, yeah, Cade, yeah, whatever. Cade Guy Six. that they threw in later. So it's just like, hey, we're trying to be funny and we're goofy and there's gonna be loot. Yeah, so they're they're definitely taking a very hard left in the tone. That's just strange. Um. Sorry, yeah, that was exploded. But, yeah, it is strange, but I, I, it's, I feel like this is just like a hype. This is the first time they've actually truly revealed uh, anything new coming from this new property of theirs. Yeah. So, it's the tone. I, I, it, They're setting an interesting like, tone. Yeah, it is a weird tone, but a lot of people like Cade 6 uh, from The Taken King. I, I agree with Josh, though. It's like the more they added story into Destiny, the less I cared. Remember at the beginning, there, were, and we got to move on because that's the point of this new thing, but at the beginning it was just lore and it was just gameplay and loot, and I liked it. And then they started adding all the story, and it was just like, eh, eh. So I'm kind of with that on, Josh on this one. But I reserve the mind, an open mind, to see if they can pull something pretty cool off. So, uh, But like Fish said, even Fish being the hardcore Destiny person here, not a lot to go off of. Just a cinematic trailer. Yeah. Um, to build hype. Now, speaking of building hype, did you guys um, see the – because the new It movie trailer dropped, you know, the classic Stephen King story. And this was getting a lot of buzz. Everywhere I was going, people were talking about that new It trailer. It was directed by the director who – I can look up his name, but he made the movie Mama. It was a horror movie with Jessica Chastain. Um, and it had, one of the writers involved is from – a true detective and um the trailer looks really interesting but i was just wondering if you guys had any affinity for the classic it or if you guys had seen this trailer uh shay i'll throw it over to you first yeah um to make a very anecdotal story succinct uh it gave me nightmares for a very long time i had a really hard time um walking my sewer grates <laughs> and <laughs> taking a bath after watching that movie when I was five. <laughs> so uh, oh, no, Tim Curry, Tim Curry is a math master of his craft and to try yeah. and replace him, I feel is going to be nigh impossible. So my, Wait, my very, to Tim, Tim Curry, is he an actor? my short feelings are. Yeah. Is there a he fire you plays. can go die in Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should I know who Tim Curry is? I feel like an asshole. Yeah. What? I, uh, Wait, he plays wait. the clown in it. He is Pennywise. Pennywise. Okay, I'm googling Tim Curry. I'm sorry. I have to know who this is. Uh, Anyways, while while you're while oh you're Rocky Horror dis- Rocky Horror Picture Guy. Sorry, gotcha. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, now that you've dis- disrespected <laughs> one of the greatest actors of all time. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, I, just, I I don't I don't think anyone one can replace him it'd be like if they remade lord of the rings and tried recasting gandalf or mm. it's like i could go through a bunch of movies but yeah just i maybe i'm just like that old generation or i'm becoming that old man of don't do it you know, it's not <laughs> the same. but really it's not the same, it. don't do it it's not the same hmm interesting well i like the the angle there what about you josh i don't know i'm kind of in the same boat i don't I'm not completely against remakes, but in a lot of cases, I don't see the reason why they need to. And I think this is one of the ones that, I mean, it's still a scary movie. There's.